hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project online food ordering system and i have developed this project in spring boot and uh, angular and database used i am using the mysql database and the angular version i am using the angular version 13 that is the latest uh, version which currently have and uh, java jdk version is 1.8 i am using and mysql version is 5.6 also uh, on the Spring Boot side, this is a REST based application. So all of the communication between Angular and uh, Spring Boot is uh, happening through API, right? And all of the API we had developed on STSID, right? Spring Boot tool suits. Also, we have used JPA model, cybernets, many of the things on the Spring Boot side, right? So for developing the front end application, I have used HTML, CSS, and some of the Angular libraries. So uh all of the design this is the bootstrap theme and responsive theme so i'm not saying this is 100 percent responsive yet yes but this is partial responsive and the screen size will be adjusted according to the device screen right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed what are the functionalities available inside this project and uh, for angular side we have used visual studio code i missed that right and we are running port uh, running the tomcat means spring boot apis on the port 8080 and angular api angular we are running on the port 4200 right so uh, this is a major major project which has admin as well as customer portal so admin can create products foods and see he will be able to see all of the orders and all of the things he will be able to perform on the admin side customer will be able to place the orders for the product um, foods items right so let's start so once you run this project you will get this home page you can see this is a simple home page and uh, these are the static images and then these are the dynamic contents coming from the database directly right if you click on any of the item then you will be able to see which item belongs to that category right so this is a home this is about this is static about the space there is nothing dynamic on it there is all categories this all categories are coming from the database through api if you click on any category then you will be able to see the details of that category means uh, put all the product which belongs to that category this is of all food items you will be able to see all of the food items here you can search food items from here even this is a you can search according to the category right suppose if you are searching for the dal if you search the dal then you will be able to see all of the dals which is available into the database right if you want to see the details of that product of that food item just click on the details you will be able to see the details of that item right even you can log in to post a comment so you can post a comment here about about your experience about taste about your reviews right and once you click on add to cart then you will be able to add to cart but there is a restriction you will not be able to add the add item into the cart without login right so this is all categories this is all food items this is a login so there are two types of login customer login and the admin login this registration if you don't have user id and password you will be able to register from here this is a contact us page and the value of this contact us page we are saving into the database the feedback form the value of this feedback form also we are saving into the database <laughs> right <clears throat> now i am going to log in as a customer so user id is admit at gmail.com and password is test once you log in then you will get this dashboard so here you will be able to see home dashboard already explained you this is a dashboard this is about all categories all product and my cart my orders my accounts and logout so once you click on the my orders you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed till date right once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the details of that order right so this is even even you can print the receipt from here right this is a my card so currently there are no items into the card that's why it's showing empty this is a my account from where you will be able to update your account details so this is the account details right so all food items now i am going to add some of the food items into the cart so add to cart so you can see one item into the cart and if you click on the my cart then you will be able to see there is one item into the cart and cost is 100. now suppose if i am going to add this one details add to cart so you can see there are two items into the cart and suppose if i am clicking on here then you can see some of the comments we have mentioned here if you want to submit the comment in the title write your comment and submit comment then your comment will be posted here 
right your comment will be posted here so this is dynamic all comments are coming from the database okay so my cart you can see there are two items into the cart if you want to delete any item just click on the delete if you want to add more item just click on the continue shoppings and click details add to cart you can see there are three items if you want to delete just hit the delete button that item will be deleted from the cart once you click on the checkout then it will ask for credit card details this is a dummy payment page there is nothing dynamic on it you can enter any of the information here we are not making any type of real transactions these are dummy pages once you click on the make payment you can see your order number 294 and after that the total amount you you have paid is 220 rupees right you can print the receipt you can see your orders in my order section this is your last order so you can see this is the last order right and log out so this is a session driven menu if you look, click on the logout then all of the administration option will be hidden will be disappeared right you can see all of the uh, menu option has been disappeared if you submit login then all of the administrative menu option is appearing right so this is all from the customer side if you click on the admin login then you will get different uh, page and the user id is admin password is test <clears throat> once you log inside the system then these are the menu options for the admin right this is also angular application there are three types of ui we have implemented there are different ui running on for the customer there is different ui for the login there is different ui for the admin panel right so this is a product management from here you can see all of the products you can edit the product you can update the product you can change anything about the product if you want if you want to add any new item just add new food items then you will be able to see the category the drop down is dynamic and you can select the category and after that you can fill all of the forms this is a category management all of the category if you want to add more categories just click on the add new category and that category will be appeared on the home page all orders you will be able to see all of the orders which are placed by different customers if you click on this item then you will be able to see the details of the order this is a customer management you will be able to see all of the customers who has registered you can even edit the customer details too from here this is a contact us report from where you will be able to see all of the contact us thing which has been posted by the customer will be displayed here this is a feedback report from where you will be able to see about the feedbacks which have been submitted by the customer and the logout once you click on the logout you will be redacted to the login page or the home page right front end page so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project online food ordering system as i told you earlier this is a Spring Boot, Angular, and my SQL based web application. And this is a major project which has customer and admin login both. So, if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comments. We will incorporate those things. We will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.